mano. Hey guys, welcome to ED Technology. My name is Navjot Singh Jadeja and in today's video, we are back with data mining. So as you can see, we are going to talk on association rule mining. And in today's video, before we start, I would recommend you to watch our earlier video on market basket analysis, which you can see on the top in the link. Association rule mining is a very important concept as far as data mining is concerned. So what exactly association rule mining in Weka or association rule mining in general is. So basically association rule learners find the association between the attributes. So we have a lot of data and if we try to find out some association, we need to train the algorithm in a way where it can find some association between different attributes. This particular set of rules which we get, this rules can predict any attribute or indeed any combination of attributes can be generated. So there are some very common examples which I would give you for your understanding that if you go to a supermarket, there is a you know, chance that you might buy a bread and there is a high likely chance because you're buying a bread, you might uh, buy you know jam or butter. So this is something which is a predicted attribute. But when we did the survey on the Walmart data, on the basis of you know a lot of other combinations and there are a lot of combinations such as beer and a diaper came up as in one of the most frequently common attributes so you never know which combination of attributes the association rule learners will bring for you through the tools such as wake up so these are actually something which can help you decide common associations based on the existing data so let me make it clear guys when we are talking about association rule mining we are not trying to predict the possible connections but what we are trying to predict is what we are saying that on the basis of data these are the common combination of attributes as in the rule which we can say as in association rule and in order to measure this we have two parameters very two important parameters support and confidence Right? These are the two measures of each rule on the basis of which we evaluate and we rank them. There are other parameters also, but these two parameters play the major role. Right? So on the basis of these parameters, we'll be ranking the rules which we are getting through Weka. And the most popular of association rule mining algorithm, which we are going to use in this uh, video also, is a priori. So let us begin, let us open our Weka and see how we can do that. All right, so I'm back in the Explorer, just where we do the Weka practicals. And I'll be loading supermarket data because that is something which helps you understand better. You can do, you know, association rule mining, a lot of other data in the data section also. But as I said, I want to go with something which is specifically designed for finding associations. So it's a very huge data. As you can see it here, it has 4000 plus instances, 200 plus attributes. And in here, the top window where you see the associate tab, I'll be going there. So by default, as you see, we have a priori, which I mentioned recently already there and i'll be clicking in the white space next to the a priori and this is an object editor window which pops up in order to understand this i'll break down the few important things for the period of uh, different videos lectures we will be discussing the other uh, parameters also but one parameter which you need to remember is it has the metric confidence and it, the value is given in here which is 0.9, which is almost like 90%, right? Number of rules is by default set to 10. So there are 10 rules, common rules, which will come. And upper bound minimum support limit is one, which is exactly the 100%. So I'm not changing any parameters right now. I'm just giving you a demo of what we are supposed to do, how to interpret the results. And then I'll ask you to do certain things, right? So I press on the start. It performs certain things, right? My wake up bird is moving in and around. So basically I got certain results in my white screen. 
So what does it say? It got certain item sets through that. It took around, you know, uh, 15 uh, seconds or something, the time. And then uh, we have got the 10 rules in here. So if you remember, I told you it will be fetching 10 rules. We can change it to three, five. Uh, having less number of rules helps you decide better. Association rule mining is for targeting the combination of products from your all set of items or it's finding association between common things in order to find out a better pattern. So it can be used for providing discounts. It can be used for applying different schemas and anything. So based on the supermarket data when you hear we have the biscuits, frozen foods, fruit, which has the high of 788, which gives bread and cake right we have the 92 percent confidence and as i said we have the 100 percent support which we are taking then we have baking needs biscuits fruits which is total i of 760 and then we have the bread and cake so let me break it down how support and confidence are understood here if there are 100 people coming into my shop in a day and out of that 100 people 60 are buying my one particular product let's assume the biscuits so that means the support of a particular product or an attribute which is biscuit is 60 percent because out of the 100 people 60 are buying it and now the confidence is given those 60 people buying the biscuit if 20 of them are buying the chocolates then 20 by 60 into 100 whatever the number i get is the confidence parameter for chocolate given biscuits right so this is how we understand different rules using these rules you can actually come up and find out you know uh, different patterns different solutions and that is why i told you again i'm referring you refer to our market basket analysis you understand that video and you'll realize what sort of question association rule mining actually comes up with so this is it on my part in terms of wake up I would suggest you guys to practice more in the other videos we'll be also talking on lift and leverage which are other parameters also altering the certain amount of parameters till then uh, hasta la vista. <laughs>